doing too much, you need to calm the hell down. Well, time is filled with a transition. Hey! <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Maya. Danny here. And we are back with another <laughs> MD Takeover video. We back, y'all. Child, we done sit up there with the pie pass. Again. <laughs> and them people done gave me a sauce that's open. Yeah. We finna do a quick little bang. We back. <laughs> we back with some chicken. We got some chicken. But y'all, we not gonna be before y'all. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, first and foremost, we thank you. God, we thank you for chicken, Lord God. We thank you for this day. We thank you for life, Lord God. We thank you for mindfulness. Lord God, I pray that you would just bless the food that we are about to receive. Let it nourish us, God. Bless the hands that prepared the people over there at the Popeyes, because I just feel like they need you, Lord. We all need you. Um, And amen, amen, and amen. Y'all, I'm so ready for this chicken. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten much today. What's up under here? But y'all, so we thought, Maya and I were talking earlier with texting back and forth, and we thought we would talk to y'all today about mindfulness. As we eat Popeyes, because <laughs> it was on my mind. I just love me some Popeyes. I just, I just do. But y'all, so. Child, this one say, I'm going down. Do, do, do. That's what it said. So, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. You want to do the first tip? <laughs> okay so our first tip is awake to the day so awaking to the day what we mean by that is start your day by noticing your breath and your thoughts so as you get up even you can do this before you even get out of the bed just sort of take inventory of of how you're breathing what thoughts you're having because most likely the things that you wake up to and you're thinking about right when you wake up are going to be important or the things that are weighing heavily on your mind. So, y'all, she back there <laughs> whispering to Bella talking about something. She wants some chicken. You know that girl wants chicken. She loves chicken. I don't know what next tip. Oh, um, next tip is body scan. Mm -hmm. And... This is something that my therapist told me how to do, actually. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's being aware of, like, your body. So, if you were to close your eyes or whatever and just focus on, like, like say, for instance, like, we're sitting in a car. If you just close your eyes for a second and just focus on like how your back is touching the seat or how you are sitting in the seat and focusing your mind on those things, taken away from, you know, whatever problems or whatever you may be going on in the moment, that would be considered like a body scan. Yes. In a sense. No, oh, this chicken is so good today. Mm. Our third tip is focusing on one thing at a time something we're not doing right now because i'm distracted by this chicken but you know we live in a society that we try to do so much at one time you know you're driving and you're talking on the phone and you're driving and texting what you should not be doing or you know you're you're always switching back and forth trying to do hmm? yeah i'm sorry you know trying to do this or that and we don't realize and we don't realize like the toll that that takes on our mind, on our body, it makes us tired. So any way that we can, we should try to focus on one thing because it also yields better results. If you're solely focused on one thing while you're doing it and that one thing is gonna be so much better than if you're trying to focus on six, seven, eight, nine, ten things. I had to feed my child. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So, Another one of my faves is being grounded. Um, so, I actually practice this, being grounded. Um, and one of my favorite ways to do it is to go like sit outside. And, ah, ooh, that was hot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, 
one of my favorite ways to do it is to go sit outside and just be like in nature whether it be like on my balcony or if i get a chance to go out some water and just really um take in like you know the sounds of you know birds chirping if i'm out water the sounds of the water um you know how the air feels on my skin um and just focusing on things like that to once again kind of get you out of whatever you may be feeling um you know that may be bothering you stressed or whatever type of thing uh and just focus your mind on like things that are going on around you like if somebody barbecuing outside the smell of that <laughs> try to smell this chicken this pop <laughs> You just want to barbecue. That's all you want to do. <laughs> oh, I spit. <laughs> Girl, you gonna sit up here and make me choke? I'm trying not to get that on my sweater. I don't know. That's nice sweater. Y'all, so our next tip, this is tip number what? This is tip number five. So our next tip is slow down. Slow down. Real nice and slow. Yes, come on. We live in, my brother would say we live in a microwave generation. We want everything fast, but yeah. even like even friends of mine who, who grew up or from other countries, they're always like, when they moved to America, everything was just so fast. Like we work so much. We want everything in an instant. Even while driving, you know, speed limits are a suggestion to me. I'm not gonna talk about it. But in, <laughs> I don't got nowhere to be. I'm just trying to, I just don't like being on the road. I might push that speed limit up a little bit. But anyway, it's slowing down. It's just taking inventory of the journey. The journey is what's important, whether it be driving, whether it be walking, whether it be biking, whatever. We're always trying to do things so fast. So whenever we can and we have time, it's very important that we slow down and just and just be in touch with how we get there, the different roads that we're on, the people that are traveling with us slowing down and, and watching Bella eat their chicken. So our next tip is creating like a calm corner, a calm space. Um, and this is like, you know, a space that you go to to calm the hell down. Literally. If you you doing too much, you need to calm the hell down. I'm, I'm, talking, with, I'm talking to the side of my mouth because I done sit up there and bit my lip and now I got a little, a little bump on it. Anyway. <laughs> Find you a, 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 a prayer closet, sis. Hmm. Because I love to sit on the floor in my closet. <laughs> Find you a little prayer closet and calm down. Please. Child, talking to Sim. <laughs> but for real. But yeah, like, just find you a space in your house where, like, you can really just, like, that's your space. If you want to light a candle, if you want to go in there and meditate and just Work pray or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just find, just make sure you create that space in your home for yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all, our seventh and final tip. Seven is my favorite number, number of completion. Yes. Um, focus on transitions. So if you think about the number of places or the number of rooms that you go to in a day, we don't often think about the transition to getting there and take inventory of all the things. Y'all look at Bella, she wants some more chicken. Bella, Bella. She like, you got you. <laughs> what you back there crying? It's the way she lick her lips. That's how you know she wants some food. You see that? But yeah, anyway. So what you want to do is you want to you want to notice changes that occur. So like a change in temperature, a change in sound, a change in smell. All of those things. All those things help you be grounded, help you be connected to where you are, all the different places and all the different people that you meet. But you guys, we can sit here and talk about this for hours, but we're no experts. We just did a little research and thought we'd give y'all some of the tips that either we have done or we're trying to do and incorporate. But I have a link to uh, the APA, the American Psychological Association's website. We'll put it in the description. Um, below so that you can go and see more tips that they have. I mean, the native experts, um, as yeah. well as some of the some of the benefits and the research that is behind it. I just want to leave y'all with a song. 
Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bless her. The spirit done set on my mm -hmm. heart. Come on, say it, bless the daughter. Well, time is filled with transition. Hey, oh, I don't know them people words. <laughs> Comment down below. I don't know why y'all entertain our foolishness. Comment down below. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and stop being a petty daddy. Um, and yeah. hit the notification bell and share this video with somebody you love. <laughs>